Do you know that the millennial so-called generation, the drug addicts who are raised on Adderall, Ritalin, and other drugs, who are stupid, they may look pretty and smart, they're morons. Millennials pick socialism over capitalism. These smiling morons don't even know what socialism is. You know, I thought about Bernie's appeal, and one of the things that struck me that no one's talked about, so far as I know, is missing fathers and families. Have you heard that discussed, Robert? It came to me the other night that, you know, there's a lot of single-parent families in America, a lot of mothers raising children, a lot of absentee fathers. This guy Sanders is sort of like a friendly missing father that they wish they had, or a friendly missing grandfather who says he's for everyone is oppressed. And he's kind of likable, you know, dirty suit, purple hands that he waves in your face every second. I, I don't know if I, I may have to leave the country. The thought of him waving those purple fingers for eight years, I don't know, be enough to make me move to France. I might give up my American citizenship and become a talk show host in Paris and have to brush up on my French. The, the thought of him waving those engorged purple fingers at me for the rest of my life, I don't think I could take it. But aside from that, the reason the children who have been brainwashed in college after growing up on Adderall, Ritalin, marijuana, and pure and unadulterated brainwashing in the schools are going for it because they don't know that 80 million people died in the last century from socialism in the Soviet Union. They don't know that Hitler was a socialist. Yes, that's right. National socialism, but they can't put the two and two together. They see the word Nazi and they say right winger, but he was actually a left winger. You don't know that. He was also a vegetarian. He was also a teetotaler. You didn't know that either. He eschewed alcohol. He didn't eat meat. Did you know old, old Adolf was actually a vegan? Didn't uh, eat meat? Didn't drink? He just liked to kill Jews and others who opposed him. That was his one little problem. But the fact of the matter is he was a socialist, national socialist. Yeah, look it up. Look at the German words, N-A-Z-I, national socialism. Now call us. Dave on WJR, 30 seconds or less, fire away. I was calling uh, your, uh, uh, comparing Bernie to Hitler. And I just wanted to say that like, besides them both being socialists and white guys, that that's where their similarities end. I mean, Hitler wanted to kill everyone that didn't hold up to his ideals like right away. But Bernie wants to take the people that are lowest, the poorest, you know, hardest people that have it the hardest in this country and bring them up. Help them get college. Give them a good right, let, let's stop with it. Let's stop with your fairy tale. How is he going to pick them up? How does he do that? With schools. Like he's got, well, he, for one, like uh, college is going to be free. I mean, that should be done. Wait, wait, what do you mean by free? Who's going to pay for the teachers and the electricity and the school books and the security guards? Who's going to pay for it? What do you mean free? Who's paying for the colleges that Bernie the communist is offering? Who's paying for it? Well, you know as well as I do that Bernie has laid out how he does pay for it. I just, stop with Bernie already. I don't like the name Bernie. Tell me how this crackpot is going to pay for this free college. With taxing on Wall Street, with the taxing of the... the with the taxing on Wall Street, what does that mean? What does taxing on Wall Street mean? Do you even know what you're talking about? Okay, I may not be as informed as, you know, a professional Wall Street Journal lawyer or whatever but listen i know but but you ate it but you but like a guppy in a fish tank you ate it hook line and sinker he dangled the worm and like a guppy you opened your mouth and you swallowed the hook you didn't even think this through what do you mean he's going to pay for it from wall street what does that actually mean well the ba well look at the bankers that i uh, destroyed this country in 2008 that made this country hold, hold it uh, hold it which oh. bankers name the bankers who were destroying this country i don't know their names well, you don't know anything. You are the typical useful idiot that Lenin wrote about. You have taken this liar's lies and you've gobbled it up, hook, line, and singer, sinker. He gabble, he dabble, he dangled the worm in front of your mouth and you open your mouth like a fish and you bit. You don't even know what he's saying. But Do you have any idea what socialism has done in the nations in which it has practiced over the years? Do you know the basics of socialism? Okay, you're asking me, okay, listen, you want to compare Hitler... No, don't give me an okay, answer the question, don't give me, okay, give me an answer, do you know or don't you know? Let's take, in, let's take India, for example, and not waste the listener's time, because my point of, of eating you up is not going to make me feel any better, or you feeling worse is not going to make me feel any better. So let me give you a, a primer on socialism. Let's look at India before capitalism uh, was brought into India in a big way, and India became a great machine of capitalism. Do you know anything about what happened in India after that? 
I'm asking a question. Stop with the gulping and going, okay. What happened in India after capitalism was unleashed in India and all of the red tape and the bureaucracy was put out of the way so entrepreneurs in India could start building factories and making a lot of money? Tell me what happened in India. Well, I know there's a horrible caste system in India where there is very a separation in classes. Where Again, you don't know what you're talking about. Do you know what I just asked you? Can you even follow a discussion? Sir, how far did you go in school? Let me ask you that. Yeah, no, I don't. Sorry. I can't, so I can't answer your question. But How far did you go in school? I'm in college right now. Ah, you're in college now. When, what year are you in in, uh, in uh, Pittsburgh State uh, Junior College? I'm a junior, and I served in the Marines for five years, and I worked for a while. I don't care whether you served on the moon for five years. You can't even answer a simple question because you're not listening. You're buying this lie hook, line, and sinker, but I think you're desperate to learn something or you wouldn't have called the show. So let me repeat again. India was trapped in a caste system for forever. Do you understand that is step number one? And what happened in 1970 or thereabouts in India? The free market, free market econ economics were introduced to India. What does that mean? It means the gigantic edifice of bureaucracy that, be, ha, that had been established in India by the British, the bureaucracy was virtually taken off the backs of the entrepreneur. And what happened then? The average Indian man with money was able to invest in a small business or a small factory. And what happened in India then? Have you seen the landscape of India change since 1970? Well, that's a result of capitalism, not a result of Bernie Sanders-ism. Back in a minute. I mean, I'm just so intently upset over the fact that there are such ignorant people in this country, mainly young people who have been brainwashed, raised on drugs like Adderall and Ritalin, marijuana, and they are biting hook, line, and sinker for something they don't even understand, such as socialism. So I gave an example of India. India was long a socialist um, nation. And then something happened. A global recession that began in the late 70s created economic stagnation, chronic shortages of foods and everything else, state inefficiency in India where everybody was paralyzed, and the, and the people became disillusioned with state socialism. Now try to imagine America where the Department of Motor Vehicles, the DMV in your community, becomes everything in the country. Everything in the country would be like the DMV where you have to wait two hours for a salami, three hours for uh, an appointment to make an appointment with a doctor for three months down the line. That's what socialism brings. In the late 80s and 90s, it was in the 70s, in the late 80s and 90s, India's government systematically freed up the Indian economy and pursued what? Socialism? They pursued privatization. And they did this to attract foreign investment. And what happened? Take a look at the landscape of Indian cities. The cities bloomed. The same is true of communist China. Although it is politically a communist nation, it is very much socially an economic nation of freedom. They have more freedom in China than we do here to start a business. Do you know that there are lower taxes on businesses in China than there are under Barack Obama? You know, the average corporation pays a lower tax rate in China than they do here in America under Barack Obama. Do you know that Russia and China have no inheritance tax, which means that if you've earned a certain amount of money and it's been taxed money and you put it in the bank, you can pass it on to your children without being taxed again by the criminal governments that have stolen so many billions of dollars from so many citizens in the United States of America. We have a fundamental criminal enterprise running the United States of America. And now enter from stage far left two even more dangerous gangsters who want to do even graver harm to the engine of capitalism and engines of capitalism and freedom in the United States of America. Everything that you see that is operating in America will become crippled by socialism. Foreign investment will flee. Local investment will flee. Uh, red tape will quadruple and envelop virtually everything you do. Do you understand what socialism is? Forget the old man is dangling a little worm in front of your face called freedom and equality. The old man is a dangerous Pied Piper. 
And that's all I want to say on this right now. I mean, there's so much more that I could say. I think you can study it on your own. But never forget the example of India that I gave you. It's a thumbnail example of what happens when a state eliminates red tape, means meaning it gets rid of some of the laws and regulations, the restrictions on businesses, on permits. What happens when you free up an economy and you pursue privatization? What happens is a country booms. Look how stagnant Cuba is because two monster dictators have been running it for 50 years. It's not a free society. It's a criminal socialist society. Why has Cuba stagnated? It's not because of evil America. It's because of two evil dictators who have crippled Cuba and turned the Cuban people into absolute slaves. But again, this is something that the average Adderall-taking, Ritalin-taking college girl knows nothing about. And this old man in a crumpled suit, the Pied Piper of the radical, insane communist systems that have destroyed so many lives, has appealed to them. Because many of them are looking for a father or a grandfather figure, as I said, who was never in their life. And that's where he's coming from. Steve on WJR, what's on your mind? Dr. Savage, I want to address the caller about socialism and communism. You mentioned Indian, of course, uh, in China, and we certainly want, wouldn't want our countries to look like that. Uh, we still have the greatest economic disparity between the classes in our country due to capitalism. Capitalism is the result. The result of capitalism is depressions, recessions. You might remember a little something after the late 20s. Steve, you're going in circles. You're saying two things in every sentence. What are you actually saying? That capitalism... Pure capitalism can't work, and you know that. And and, and we no, have. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me what I know. I'm not one of the idiots who listen to you while you're all smoking a joint. Don't tell me what I know. What is capitalism? Explain it to me. Don't tell me I smoke joints. You drink. You drink alcohol. I said to you, tell me what capitalism is, since you're such an expert. Capitalism is the belief that pure capital is the goal, and that the government should stay out of the way of pure capital. And wait, you, wait, hold it. You're not making any sense. What is capitalism? Tell me how it works. Capitalism means unfettered work or, or unrestrained business by the government. Unrestrained. And it led us to depression. Wait, sir, wait a minute. Stop for a minute. You, you, you're again running over your own words. Have you ever started a business of any kind? Yes, I have. Hello? You have? What kind of business? Uh, it was a landscaping business. Okay. Now, to start that business, didn't you have to apply for a permit? Yeah, 100%. Did you have to invest your own capital in a lawnmower and a blower and a ladder and a truck? And considerably more than that. That's correct. Okay. Would you like to have had to apply for 20 permits under a socialist system, as you would have to do, for example, in Panama or in Cuba, rather? Is that what you want, to go through 20 bureaucrats to be a landscaper? I would much rather live in a country that has... No, no, you're not answering the question. You're, again, you're talking out of a, a textbook answer. I'm trying to take you step by step down the road that you don't even know you're going. You as a landscaper are performing an honest day's work. You had to apply for permits. Do you want to apply for 50 permits? you want to be blocked by a government at every turn? You certainly don't. Do you want to pay for permits that you can't afford? You certainly don't. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, Stephen, what socialism actually is? Do I get to speak? Or no, you don't. No, you don't get to speak. Take your leaf blower and go talk to your leaf blower. You might make more sense to a leaf blower than you did on the radio. You were given an opportunity, and you said nothing. So I'm not going to waste my listeners' ears for another second of this. I don't actually think he built the business. I think he probably just runs a leaf blower and smokes pot all day long. I live in a county north of San Francisco part-time. If I want to put an addition on my house, I have to go through 30 morons in the county of Marin County, 30 useless idiots who you ask any contractor what it's like to try to put a new window in a house in this communist little county called Marin. One stupid bureaucrat after another standing in your way. If you want to trim a hedge, you have to pay for permits. If you want to put up a retaining wall, you have to go through permits. If you want to change a roof line, you have to go through permits. That's what communism does to a society. It cripples it. And who has these jobs in Marin County, California? By and large, they are patronage positions. They are positions for the ind individuals who are too lazy or too stupid 
to actually perform a useful service for society. And so through politics, they get these little jobs in the planning division after going to a useless college and getting a useless degree in planning. That's if they even went to college. Or they were someone's girlfriend and they get the job as the secretary in the dumb office. That's what socialism is, is endless permits, endless fees, endless obstructionism to add a window to a house or change the roof line of a house. I had a friend whose family lives in Panama. And he said Panama under the dictator, Noriega, was easier to, uh, to live in than it is under the bureaucracy that followed the overthrow of Noriega. I said, how could that be? He said, because you only had to be paying off one bribe once to the corrupt government of Noriega. But now with equality under socialism, in Panama, you can't get anything done. Because one day after another, another bureaucrat shows up with another demand, another permit, another fee, another license, another portion of red tape. My friends, we are living in chaos right now. Don't be deceived by the little old pickle salesman in a crumpled suit. He is Lenin light, but surrounding him is Lenin heavy. This is the Savage Nation. Be here or be nowhere. Savage.